Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the system license violation blue screen error you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating error message. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match, go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a few commands in the description of the video. Go ahead and copy the first one. It starts with SFC. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it. Select edit and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that one is finished, we're going to go ahead and copy the second command. I'm going to have in the description of the video, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window again, right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in, and hit enter. Okay, so once that one is finished, we're going to have one more command in the description of the video. It's going to be a check this scan. So go ahead and copy that again from the description of my video, and then paste it in the same way we did the other two, and then hit enter. So please note that it cannot run because it's currently in use. This is our main hard drive here. We're going to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts. Tap the Y key and hit enter. So at this point, go ahead and close out of here and save and close out of any open programs and applications and proceed to restart your device. So it's going to prompt you if you want to skip the disk check to tap any key on your keyboard within an arbitrary amount of time. Usually it's under 10 seconds. Do not tap any keys on your keyboard, but for the sake of keeping this tutorial uh, a little bit quicker, I will be skipping over this disk checking, but in your case, do not tap any keys on your keyboard. Let the scan complete. It can take a couple hours in many cases, again, depending on how large your hard drive is. But generally speaking, it shouldn't take too long from my experience. So hopefully at this point, you should be good to go. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.